Hi, welcome to a new episode of Savor This, the food cast from the team at Savor Recipes. I'm Deanna, I'm a registered dietitian and blogger at teaspoonofspice.com, and I'm thrilled to be here today to help you make a great breakfast, lunch, or dinner recipe. It can cover all those mealtime occasions. This is our crustless spinach quiche and it is pretty easy to whip together. So we're gonna get started. What you wanna do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've already done, and then we're gonna get started on cooking up our onions. So what you wanna do is uh, put a large skillet over medium high heat, and then we're going to heat up our oil. So here we're gonna use two tablespoons of canola oil. Canola oil is a great oil to use that has a very neutral flavor. So when you really don't want it to interfere with any of the foods you're cooking up, go with canola oil. All right, so that's two tablespoons of canola oil, oil and we're gonna use that to heat up our onion. So this is one medium onion that has been finely chopped or diced. And I've used a sweet onion here. You could use the yellow onion, you could use white onion, red onion, really any kind that you want. Um, so a medium sized onion is a little bit more than a cup of onion um, if you're measuring. So you wanna put that in. And what we're gonna do is saute this for about five minutes until the onion starts to become soft and translucent, which just means it's gonna be a, um, a little bit clear. So. We're gonna let that go for about five minutes and then move on to the next step in the recipe. Okay, our onions have been cooking for about five minutes and now we're gonna add in our spinach. So this is one 10 ounce bag of frozen spinach that's chopped and it's been thawed and drained. So we're gonna put that in there and mix it up and cook it for about three minutes until the liquid is all evaporated. So we're gonna let that cook for about three minutes and then we are going to move on to the next step. Okay, so our spinach and onion mixture is done and I've set that aside and now we're going to prepare our pie plate. So you need a nine inch pie plate and we are going to coat that with cooking spray. And now while this is a crustless spinach quiche, meaning it's not using a traditional dough pie crust, we are going to make a crust out of cheese. So that's gonna give us a layer between the bottom of the pie plate and our spinach and egg filling. Uh, so what we're gonna use for this is good old cheddar cheese. So this is one cup of shredded cheddar cheese that we're gonna sprinkle uh, along the bottom here again to create our cheese layer for our quiche. Now, you certainly could use different aged cheeses for this, Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, if you want a little kick to it, it would be delicious as well, um, but we're going with cheddar today. Okay, so that is our cheese layer, and then I'm going to take our spinach and onions here and just layer it right on top of our cheese. Yeah. So, that's our layer of spinach and onions over the cheese. And what we're gonna do next is make our egg mixture to pour on top of this. Okay, so we are starting out with egg whites. Now, we need six egg whites for this recipe. I already have five cracked open here, and I saved one because I wanna show you how to separate uh, the egg yolk from the whites if you're not sure how to do that. So what you wanna do is crack your egg. It's always better to crack it on the counter than the side of your bowl because it's gonna make a cleaner crack. At least I've found that over the years. So one little tap, and then slowly break your shell open. Okay, and then just let the white, which is actually the clear part, just drip over the side. And what you can do is just slowly and carefully transfer the yolk from one half shell to the other and let any remaining of the clear part of the egg, which is the egg white, come out. Okay, so, and then there's our yolk, which I like to, rather than discard, set aside and use in a different recipe or in um, something like an omelet, scrambled eggs in the morning type of thing. Okay, so we have six egg whites in here. This recipe also calls for one whole egg, so we're just gonna crack 
and put the whole thing in here like so. And then we're going to add another flavor of cheese. We have cottage cheese in here. All right, so it doesn't matter that this is my spinach mixture. No need in dirtying another spoon. It's all gonna be mixed together. So we have one third cup of cottage cheese. And now we're gonna put our seasoning in. So I have a combination here of one eighth teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So that's all gonna go into our cottage cheese egg mixture. Okay, so that is our egg mixture. And now let's bring our cheese and spinach and onion layer over here. And now we're gonna slowly pour our egg and cottage cheese mixture on top, just like that. Okay, and that's it. So now that's gonna go into our 375 degree preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it tests uh, clean in the middle with a toothpick or if you press it and you can tell that it's set. You just don't want it runny in the middle. We want the eggs to be set. So check it around 30 minutes and it should be ready by 40 minutes. So let's put it in the oven and then we'll come back here to cut it up. Okay, so our crustless spinach quiche is done out of the oven and I let it sit for about five minutes so it can just set before actually cutting this. So this quiche serves four people, uh, but I like to cut it into, you certainly could cut it into four big pieces, but I like to cut it into eighths. So everyone can have two pieces. So I'm gonna cut it up right now. And this is also a great vegetarian dish, you know, if you have vegetarians in the family or if you have people coming over that are vegetarian too. So I'm gonna give this a try right now. Mm. The combination of the cottage cheese with the cheddar crust and you can taste a little bit of the nutmeg is fantastic with the spinach. So. For the full recipe, you can visit the direct link in this video post, and I hope you get to try this recipe soon, and we will see you again. Bye.